the interesting part that comes in picture is virtualization okay cloud do not have the concept of virtualization cloud inherits the concept of virtualization how through hypervisor the question is what is a hypervisor so let's talk about a normal computer <clears throat> what is a normal computer there's a storage on top of storage there's an operating system on top of an operating system there are there is a multiple applica applications which runs okay but when we talk about uh, hypervisor it virtualizes your hardware how there's a hardware on top of a hardware instead of operating system you install hypervisor directly so that hypervisor will virtualize your hardware okay it's a concept of virtualization and on top of this hypervisor now you get an option to install multiple operating system now multiple operating system you can install on your local machine also but they cannot run in parallel but through hypervisor you get a privilege that they will run in parallel so this kind of hypervisor is known as type 1 hypervisor or hardware hypervisor The next one is para hypervisor. Now, what is a para hypervisor? I am pretty sure that people would be acquainted with para hypervisor. The naming convention is quite unusual, but the usage is simple. The example is you have a hardware, on top of hardware, you have soft operating system. And now on top of operating system, you install hypervisor. And on top of this hypervisor, you get a privilege to install virtual machines, multiple VMware. So you would have used VMware or Citrix or something like that. So that uses para hypervisor concept because we create virtual machines basically that can be unplugged and plugged again in a different system. That is para virtualization. In cloud, we use both hardware and para virtual machines. By default, the architecture demands for hardware hypervisor. AWS has not got its own hypervisor. It has outsourced it from a different organization. So that is your virtualization in cloud. Cloud doesn't mean it's it's a virtualization concept. Cloud inherits the concept of virtualization to rent out services over internet. And these are the two different concepts through which virtualization is enabled in cloud. Now it can be AWS, it can be Azure, it can be Oracle Exadata boxes, like Exadata Cloud, it can be Google Cloud, it can be anything. Okay, what you need to remember that the concept of hypervisor.